Hi friends, what's this window? There are two buttons, but here we can resize and allot the space to left or right button. So this is, we have done it by, by using panned window. So we'll learn more about this. We'll learn about all the options of it and some applications in the second part, we'll see more about the, how we'll use this, how we'll adjust the layout. Here is a blank template. We have just uh, one Kinter window and two buttons we have written. And all these two buttons, you can see we have little higher size font we have used here. And this font, we have declared it at line number five. Here you can see, so this tuple we have used for a bigger size font on the uh, on the button. And you can note that we have not placed it buttons on our grid because we'll be using a panned window which works like a container and that will place it on the grid. So let's just see it, it will be a blank window only. So nothing there, yeah. So the, no button will be visible because there is, we have not placed it on a grid. On that, now let's declare one, uh, my PW, uh, sorry, my panned window, it's a uh, object I'm creating, you can give any name. So I'm selling panned window, now what the most important is how it is oriented the oriented can be horizontal by default it's horizontal only you can make it vertical moment it is horizontal the sas or the handle or the line divider line will be vertical position and the pan will be in a horizontal way so that's the basic difference here now that's all the uh, this has come now we'll add the our buttons to that so my pw sorry my pw dot add method we are using i am adding button one b1 added similarly let's add the button two also add b2 now two are added now the pan window will be uh, will place it on the grid so my pw dot grid row equal to zero column um, first row, first column I am using and uh, will give slightly pad x 10. So it is not flush to the left edge and pad y from the top also. Let's give some gap. So I am giving 20. So that's all. Let's just save it and see once. Here it is. So the SAS or the, uh, the uh, handle is not visible. We'll see that. You can adjust this towards this left because it's in a panned window. So we can adjust this. Now let's do this, we'll add the options to put the SAS and the handle. Let's add some option to this so you can uh, see the handles and all. So for that, I'm just adding so say BG. BG is yellow. So background color, this is just to distinguish between where it is the background because it will take the buttons are there. So it may not be on the edges only, it will be visible. So let's give me the height height equal to let's uh, give bit more so we can visible now what happened to our sas pad so let's come to next line it says sas pad what is a sas pad by the way you watch this image this image has all the answers sas pad is 40 let's give then sas relief why the the sas was not visible because by default this sas relief relief is by default it is flat so once it is flat we are it is not visible so let's give it to a raised now r a i s c raised what are the options here you can see the all the relief options you can in our button tutorial we have explained all about the relief the, even the pan window also can have its own relief now this is we are say, setting here the sas relief so this uh, with this now the sas will be visible and we have given some padding of 40 and given a background so let's just try to see anyway this image has explained it so now let's just run it and see here it is i think height has increased a bit so let's uh, reduce the height a bit you can see the here is the sas the sas is its center line and both sides i have given some padding so the background yellow is visible so that is the reason and there is no handle because I have the handle by default it is false will display the handle. Now this is the SAS you can see the line in between. Now if I will reduce the height a bit you can see it let me just put it 150 now let's run this you can see now both are there. So this padding is there and uh, now let's add the handle and other options to this. Let's slightly increase the width of the window to 600 and this also to 
height also increase so now we'll add some more options to understand that one so for that first let's say sas width the width of that sas in between whatever is there sas width is let's say 50 now we are telling so handle so handle means there will be a handle and the uh, on the sas it will be there so that is true it can take true or false now let's just see up to this point so let's run this and see it is uh, SAS width I SSH I missed here okay let's see now what it is yeah here you can see we have may increase the uh, width of the SAS so now I can use this and here you can see there is a handle it just for the visual second it has nothing to do but we can this handle we can bring it down or up in in because it's it's in the orientation of horizontal orientation in vertical orientation it will be left and right all this thing so now we'll see that now you can see the sas width has increased this is the padding padding what value we have given uh, sas pad is 40 here so this gap is 40 from here to here that yellow part and this is the sas we have given 50 we have increased that one actually usually it would be better to keep it at 20 or so so let's now explore the other options you can see here we have used sas relief as raised similarly the entire pan also we can uh, give a relief to that so i can say relief equal to uh, raised so once again here the list of uh, options for the or the sorry the values for the relief is there this is a common requirement several wizards will have this so let's just come to our next line let me just increase here yeah so let let's just uh, come to the next line now we'll work on that handle part so we'll say handle pad handle pad means it's the gap from the top till the handle how much gap should be so handle pad let's give 50 so it will come down and if you are uh, orientation is changed to vertical so in that case from the left edge it will be calculated so handle pad now the let's give handle size handle size means it's a square you can see so the size means we are giving uh, the uh, the one side uh, width or height whatever you say it's a square only so handle size is let's give 20 now up to this point let's see that so here it is yeah you can see it has come down from the top as you can see the gap it has come down and you are given 20 you give further gap it will come down more so this is the handle the handle is for only visual only it has no effect neither you it is anywhere in the sas you can hold the mouse on the sas and drag it so we'll now next move to the opac area so we'll see that next options we'll explore let's add the width option so here are saying width uh, equal to 200 and remove these buttons uh, for the timing we'll remove it the reason is we want to see the how the cursor looks so your buttons are not there only the pan window will be there so you can see now the shape is uh, let's just run this yeah here it is so no buttons only the pan window over that the buttons are actually there so now what you will do will add cursor so this cursor is when the mouse enters into that area what should be the shape there is a big list is there you can see around 50 60 different type of cursor shapes you can select from here is the list and let's uh, just check it how this uh, cursor shape changes now uh, in fact this is a very common requirement you see this i am on that uh, pan window i am outside see how my cursor is changing it's a circle it's a normal cursor now i can use boat and all these things many many different cursor shapes are there so and and let's move to now let's add again the buttons why i removed the buttons is because buttons occupy this full space and hardly at the border only the circle will change so for a better identification now let's come to our opaque uh, resize so so far we have seen opaque resize is uh, means when you are dragging it along with the sas was moving now let's see what happens opaque resize let's set is false by default it's true so let me save this and run once what happens sorry i think the width i have to increase it okay let me just remove this width part because it is restricting or i have to increase it to let me increase to 400 so it will be visible let's see yeah it is so <coughs> here you can see 
now when I'm I'm just holding that SAS and dragging it dragging it but it is not changing when I release the mouse button it takes the position again bringing it to this but when I am releasing around I release the mouse button so it is taking that is it is immediately not shifting so that is because this because of this setting opac resize is false so by default it's true so if I'll make it true along with let's just see what difference it makes now I'm making it true again running it you can see the difference now I'm dragging it it's moving like this it's not delaying anything but what has happened now meanwhile the cursor is circle now I am removing that part here it is okay now let's one more thing now that you you have seen that now we let us do proxy background equal to red you have seen one ghost is moving along with going telling us that where the new location will be that background color also we can change it now let's just see that here it is now we are given the red background sorry I have to make pro that one false otherwise it will not be this proxy resize should be false now I have saved it now the proxy background is red now let me check it see this so this is red and moment I release the mouse this takes the new position here I am bringing release the mouse then it takes the new position now there are some more options are there what is that let me come to put a comma here and come to next line now I'll say proxy uh, now proxy background proxy border width border width is I am giving 5 and proxy has a relief also you know a relief anytime these values are there already for the entire uh, pan window we have seen that so now let's say proxy relief because to check the proxy relief now it is by default it is flat so it's not visible now raised so here is a list of all the options same one only whatever we have used and all the widgets this the moment the relief word comes these are the options some plus minus maybe there are some widgets it may not support some value so this list this value is there out of this value relief will be there and always note that if you are checking the relief value of a proxy relief or the main relief you should set the border width to a higher value because that is that way it will be clearly visible if because if you uh, border width is less then the relief uh, may not be visible or you cannot may not able to distinguish properly so let's just see that now here it is now I am what's this border of this red rectangle that's because I have just given a proxy of raised so it is it has changed and size is 5 I have given so that's how you can sunken then uh, raise then flat flat means there is nothing is there you can just check it up also let's move it flat flat means you may not able to see that this is the by default it is flat only now let me just drag it see this there is no border view you will not able to distinguish the border now because uh, we have made it uh, relief really as flat so that's all friend these are the all the options you can further explore it I think all the options we have uh, discussed and uh, we will we'll in the second part we will see more about the application part of it so you can uh, that's all we'll see the in future where you will be using it and how we'll resize the widgets and the layout of the window entire window left top bottom all this resizing we can do and uh, Thank you for watching and I'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and I request your friends also to subscribe to our channel and we frequently post new new tutorials so press the bell icon so you'll be notified. Thank you once again for watching and please subscribe.